Hey guys, how's it going? The UJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World. Welcome back to Fortnite and version 17. So what we're gonna do in this video, guys, is we are gonna jump right in, and we are gonna talk about the patch notes. Now, this is gonna be an interesting one, guys, uh, because, you know, there's nothing new in Save the World. Yes, there's a lot of stuff going on in Battle Royale, a lot of stuff also that is being taken. I talked about a little bit resources from Save the World that are being taken into Battle Royale. I am going to do a more extensive video talking about how I feel about that. You know, do I think it was good, wrong? Should they have done it? Should they have not done it? You know, I, I'm going to I'm going to be talking about that very soon. Um, but this video, we're going to focus on what is coming soon and the answering the biggest question. What is happening next season in Ventures for Save the World? But first, I want to say a huge thanks to you guys. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting all of you guys who are members. Thank you very much. Everyone coming to the streams, you guys are fantastic. Don't forget to check down below in the description. There's a link to my um, Twitter and Discord. You can check the schedule for this week because I do have a weekly streaming schedule if you guys want to hang out and check it out. And of course, I want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Ridge Wallet. Uh, yeah, I love my Ridge Wallet. It's awesome. Ridge Wallet <laughs> is they're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. It's a durable, very durable uh, RFID blocking wallet with a very sleek design that comes in over 30 colors and styles with a lifetime warranty and over 40,000 five-star reviews. And with Father's Day coming up, it's coming up right up now, guys. If you don't know what to get your dad, it makes a great gift. You can shop the Father's Day guide on the site and find the best gear for your dad. And they don't have just wallets. They have uh, backpacks and pens and a bunch of other stuff. So you can head over right now to uh, rich.com forward slash PGNT. Yes, I am partnered with them. And you can use code PGNT to get 10% off and free worldwide shipping. So thanks again to Ridge Wallet. And a, a lot of people have asked, you know, like why mine looks like this. I use mine all. This is my favorite one. And look how cool it's gotten. It's gotten like all weathered and beaten up and it looks amazing. I love it. This is the burnt titanium one. But anyway, huge thanks to uh, Ridge Wallet and go check out guys and use my code if you want some discount there so let's jump into this guys save the world home base status report 6 8 2021 now i was live when this came out um you guys saw i made a video <laughs> reacting and a, a lot of people want me to react to more things which i'm actually thinking of doing that more in the future we may do more reactions uh to trailers and stuff you know or or, or stuff like that in the future uh you guys let me know if you guys want to see that but I did react to the Battle Royale version 17, season 7, chapter 2, season 7, and the whole alien thing. And it's a lot to unpack. It's a lot to unpack. And then when the patch notes came out, we looked at them really, really quickly and we were like, okay, there's nothing new. So I didn't make a video better right away. Um, I want to go through it right now because, and this is something very important for everyone who is a veteran player. Please understand that I am going to continue making my content. I'm going to continue making the videos I make. Um, but I'm definitely going to be approaching everything from a kind of dual side of it. Uh, I am a veteran player that is covering stuff that is coming out. But I want to explain it really well for the new players. Because there are a lot of players to save the world. Uh, we're going to talk to you about the whole crew thing and save the world thing too because that is very interesting it's going to bring a lot of new people to save the world and i definitely want people to understand and not be faced with a lot of negativity about save the world i want them to approach it from a point of this is an awesome new game but it doesn't really have much explanation tutorials or anything so what do i do and how and to that point also keep an eye out this week i believe uh the first two episodes of my um save the world for beginners <laughs> kind of you know series is going to be coming out uh because i i do i do have a uh it's going to be a really interesting kind of it's a very interesting thing that i'm coming up with because um i do want to talk about you know like uh save the world for beginners and heroes for beginners and ventures for beginners and dungeons for beginners you know kind of things like that so people who are brand new to the game can just understand what it is and what to do, not exactly gameplay of it. Of course I'll have gameplay, but I do want to make it so that you know people can understand what is it. So, with that in mind, let's jump into 
the home base status report <laughs> with the next venture season on the horizon home base is back to share what's coming this week and next to fortnite save the world as mentioned in the previous save the world status report we're still working hard at working analyzing some of the underused and unperforming hero abilities we're still hoping to land the first round of improvements sometime during the next venture season uh so sometime during the next season we're going to have the first set of improvements now this could radically change a lot of what we do in save the world because there are so many heroes and abilities that we just don't use i mean not only are they, under, are they underused and underperforming, they're just downright horrible. <laughs> we'll be sure to share more information on these adjustments in the future home base status report. Now back to your regular scheduled report, home base status report initiate. So coming uh, June 12th, which is this Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, this Saturday, we're going to have the bowler returning. Love it. Alicia Cannonballs is going to be in the event store. Yes, event store. And then that's it. Okay, so that's it. So for those of you wondering what's coming this the week, the bowler, and that's it. Because June 19th, which is going to be the next Saturday, is going to be when we are going to have our new ventures. Now, don't forget, you have, at as of this moment, you have, what, 10 days, 11 days to try and work through and complete everything in the current season. The dungeons. Uh, the, there are three different quest lines. Yar, Yar Returns, and Blockbuster all of that you have that much time to com try and complete everything that we have right now because on june 19th it is going away and what is coming hit the road so we were right about that and the blast of badlands so as far as we can tell the ventures are going to be the same we have these these ventures that we now have that we know what venture is going to be every single season we know this from now on what might change is the events and the narrative quest lines and the llamas within those seasons that's what we're gonna have to wait and see exactly what happens because as you guys can see imposter quest line now i do want to ask you guys i don't remember was the imposter quest line the same quest line we got at the beginning of the first ventures please let me know down below in the comments get ready for a new venture season commanders the next save the world's venture season uh, sends us back to the Blasted Badlands. Join your fellow commanders in the Blasted Badlands in the Battle of Huts with returning and newly improved Rage Meter. We'll see. Also to note, Venture level rewards and experience gain has been updated to match previous recent Venture seasons. So we're not getting a copy-paste of the first one. We are getting a little bit more updated one. Hopefully that is true. Because you know, so many times we have that happen where we have that happen. Uh, rather than constantly draining your energy, this modifier now just prevents energy from regenerating on its own. Battle of the Hustle refill your energy and render havoc with abilities, which means that there are certain heroes who are going to be very, very, very important coming up soon. Unchanged from the last Blast of Badlands season, Rage Meter drastically reduces your ability cooldowns and increases their damage. Energy management is key here. That wasn't bad. This one was fun. And it's going to last until September 4th. So there we go. And this should take us through the fourth anniversary and we'll have to see if there's a birthday line the imposter quest line will be returning with dennis uh to become a warrior okay i think he was was i don't know was he in the first one i don't know he was wasn't it because that's when he, he was introduced wasn't it yeah standard perk burger buff eliminations have an eight percent chance to drop a burger burger grants 53 base health and five energy every one second for three seconds so a total of 15 and if you have him in commander he's got uh 85 base health and eight energy every one second for three seconds so 24 energy and uh, let's hit the road uh for those of you who watched my video uh reacting to the trailer you know how i feel about this man i don't know i i, I gotta say i'm a little I'm a little like, I can't believe they use that um, in the battle realm. I thought maybe they're giving us a little tip of the hat, you know, but yeah, I don't think so. Load up the van, it's time to hit the road. Uh, we're going to be hitting the road. You guys know how that works with Quinn. And roam the lands for Rex Jonesy. So Rex Jonesy is coming as a reward. So is that how they're going to continue bringing the, them back? Well, definitely, Dino Heroes are awesome. Definitely worth having them. Uh, the Walloper is going to be coming in the event store probably on the 19th then? Yeah, on the 19th. So on the 19th, we'll see the Walloper in the store. And we've got the Rad Llama coming back. I got to open all my llamas. I, I really do. I have so many of them. But there you go. And of course, we got the Robo Ray pack. But that is it. So 
for those of you who um you know who want a little bit more of an explanation like i said right now i just want to go over the patch notes really quickly uh for those of you who are newer to the game hello how's it going uh make sure to if you want to come to the stream we you can ask questions and everything if you want a specific thing answered uh ask questions during the week so they can be answered during the q a videos every week I know, I know, I know. We missed this week's Q&A. Uh, this week's Q&A is going to happen on Wednesday. And then uh, I'll be announcing a little something at the end of that one. So keep an eye out for that. And of course, from then going forward, Q&A videos will be happening every Monday. Uh, and finally, I think that's it. I think that's all I had. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys right now. Uh, like I said, I am going to be doing um, when I, when we go through, especially like the, the coming soon videos, I'm going to be explaining things a little bit more uh, when we have these weapons coming out, like the bowler and everything like that. I'm probably going to start doing along with those videos. I'm going to be doing uh, kind of like explanation videos or showcase videos where I'll showcase these different weapons, what they can do, how they can do it. Because remember, a lot of things have changed since I originally showcased these. We've got new new abilities. We've got new uh, heroes. We've got the whole uh, the re perks and everything. We can change the, the, the passive perk now, which is crazy. Never thought they were going to do it. Uh, but we do have we have quite a few more things now. So I do want to start doing that, making videos, kind of explaining things, especially for the newer viewer and the newer player to understand is it worth it is it worth you you know trying to get this and of course the most important thing about this is don't worry everything comes back in this game everything comes back and as you saw uh also in the collection book you can just go ahead and recruit stuff and research stuff so there's only certain things you really want to focus on getting in the moment but thanks for watching guys as always i am the uj2 if you guys enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor and have yourself a fantastic day. Huge thanks again to Rich for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.